YouTube, what's up? Today I have a case review for you guys, and this review is going to be on the Purporta Alu Leather Edge case for the Apple IIG iPad Touch, obviously. And if you don't like this leather case, and you don't have an iPad Touch, you can also, they also have a lot of different cases for PDAs, Blackberries, a lot of different devices. So go check them out. Their website is Purporta.com, P-R-O-P-O-R-T-A. I'll have their link in the sidebar over there. So go check them out. And this is a leather flip style case. So let's get to it. So very nice packaging from Proporta. It's held together by magnets. Very nice, as you can see. Just put your fingernails in there. And, and, uh, open it. So here's the case. Very nice case. I'll set that off to the side. And it's obviously a leather flip case. It's very nice leather. It's very soft and smells really nice. I haven't seen any flaws with the stitching on here. And um, I'll put the iPad in here. And at first, it's going to be hard to get in here. The first few times you slide it in here, it's going to be a little bit difficult to put it in here. But after like two or three times, it should be pretty easy. And right here, you can see there's a little gap so it doesn't go down all the way. So don't keep pushing. Right there is as far as it goes. So if you lay it on the table like that, it's not going to touch. Nice. They're thinking there. But this one quick thing, this doesn't uh, offer a lot of drop protection up on the top of your iPad. As you can see, the whole entire side and top is exposed up here. But if you drop it like that, it's going to be fine. If you drop it like that, it'll be fine. If you drop it like that, it'll be fine. Or if you drop it like that, your corner is going to be hitting. Or if you drop it like that, it's going to be hitting. So keep that in mind when you're buying this case. But I definitely don't mind that. I don't drop my iPad a lot. It's, it's a snug fit and doesn't fall out as you can see here. It's not going to fall out. It's a very snug fit. So I'm not afraid of this thing falling out of there. It's also aluminum lined for very good protection and sturdiness. As you can see there's the thin piece of aluminum. aluminum and there it just goes up all in here and all back here. So that's not going to bend. As you can hear. And this is a neat case. It doesn't just closed by a magnet or buttons what you gotta do is right here as you can see it's not closed all the way you gotta push down like that and it closes and it's actually very snug it's hard to it's not gonna open in your pocket or whatever you gotta push up like that and it'll fly open like that but that's kinda neat how they did that I'll zoom in for you guys a little there but you're you can uh you can charge it while it's in here and you can also put your headphones in there I'm not sure if all headphones will fit, but the app ones definitely will. I'm not sure if you can dock it though because that is recessed in there. But your home button was cut out. That's just touching it. This is a little slanted over there, so they purposely did that so you could access your um, home button. Alright, and before you put this in here, you're going to want to clean the back of your iPod because I don't know if you can see it right now. Alright, I can see it just a little there. Let me see if I can get that here. Yeah. Alright, you can't see it, but there are little specks of dirt that get on the back here because in here, dirt can stick to that if you can see it just a tad. So I try to wipe it off a little, but it really does attract it. And this is all felt in here, so your iPod's not going to get scratched. It's definitely safe in here. It's a nice felt, just like the aluminum line leather case from Porta also. You can go check out that review on my channel over there. So I'll slide that back in here real quick. And your, if I didn't mention, your, you can easily access your volume rocker. And one thing I wish they did was uh, hire this up all the way up here. That'd be really nice if they did that. And then it come all the way up to here, so it closed just around it. Kind of like the Baja case. And this is one of my favorite leather cases. I have tried my buddies, and this is definitely one of the best. Just the quality of the leather is really nice. And to get it out, you're just going to want to push it from the bottom here. And the first time, it might be a little hard to get out. But it's pretty easy for me now. So be careful that you don't push it too hard, and then it'll go flying across the room. Um, there's a little red tag here. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, just there. I'm not really sure why. It's obviously a sliding design, as you guys saw. Very nice. 
it's a little bulky, but it does feel nice in the hand. It doesn't add much bulk. It still can go in, in your pocket and out very easily. Uh, it's laying the table. I'm not sure if it would work like that because your two corners would be touching up here. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, if you can hear that. But I've, I'm usually just going to lay it like that. And it'll, the screen will obviously not touch because the piece of leather is guarding it right there. So you can drop it on the table like that. It's not going to do anything to the screen. Your screen's protected from the leather in here. Nothing's going to happen to your screen if you drop it. On no screen protectors included with this case, if you were wondering, all that comes in here is the case. That's it. Oh, also, there is a hook on the back of here for keychains. If you want to hook some keychains on here or a key, then you can do that or hang it on something. That will work. And um, if I hadn't mentioned this, this doesn't bend. So it's not, it's not a cheap plastic in here. It's not going to bend. As you can see there. I'm like the slide or the aluminum on leather case that Purpura sent to me. There is no pocket up here to slip credit cards in and stuff. But that's fine. It probably wouldn't be big enough. And there is chrome showing down here and up here. But that's not going to get scratched. I don't think it's not going to hit the table. Um, the leather obviously will not affect your Wi-Fi. Actually, it's open there. But just in case you guys were wondering, it's not going to affect your Wi-Fi. You're still going to get strong signal. It's not going to affect anything. That's pretty much all I have for you guys, though. Um, nice case. I definitely recommend go get it. Um, I definitely recommend this to anyone who's looking for a really nice quality leather case. I love this case. I'm glad I got it. And go check out my other reviews and application reviews if you haven't already. Just click on my channel right over there. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.